Right, so we are going to attempt to make a expensive webcam Astro. So we have Logitech Brio 4K streaming edition webcam. So that does 4K. We're going to connect it to a telescope. Something like that. Might not be that one, might be another one. Earrings falling off. So to connect that to that, we have a few things that we're going to try. So we have one of these, which is a little M42, I think it is, or M12 or whatever, lens adapter, and an M12 to one and a quarter telescope adapter, which will screw in. Something like that. We'll put that back in there so that we don't get dust on it. And we're going to connect it to this, which will involve some disassembly. So, if we can get into the packet, we might need a knife. Knife. Never put a knife towards you and it can completely cock up the box. So, let's have a look in the box. Box on the door. Box in a box. There she is. That's a Brio looking at a Brio. That's weird, isn't it? Peel off pleasure stuff. So, we're going to have to try and get into this somehow and make it useful to get into. So, what I'm thinking, heat this plastic up with the Heatermatron 5000. Somehow get a knife under here to be able to get that out. Once that's out, take out the lens, it's an autofocus so we'll have to desolder some bits and connect it to that. That's the plan. If it doesn't work we cock up a very expensive webcam. So I am going to do that and see what happens. Right so I've managed to remove that without too much issue. It's just stuck on with some double sided tape. So, we are going to get some screwdrivers because there are two screws, one each side, one there, one there. We're going to undo those and see if we can get this bit out and then uh, take it from there. Right, so um, a 0 times 75 mil screwdriver, two screws, one each side. I presume that this will take it all apart and this whole front element might pop off and there are instructions online for someone that modified the casing for it so you could change lenses with a C mount uh, which I'll add in the description if I can still find it but other than that I'm going to unscrew this Alright, so those two screws come out. Now you've got to be really careful here because oh, I've taken off the um, monitor mount thing. It just pulls off because um, there's some quite tight cables in here. So I'm going to disconnect those. If you can see in there, if Mr. Uh, Brio focuses, we're going to pop that one out. Pop that one out and pop that one out. And then it looks like we've got four screws. In here, that we need to take out. We're not getting focus on here, but you get the idea. So 
just remember where these go. So the two red ones go at the end and the blue and white go there. So let's quickly undo these four screws in here. If we can, and then take out the whole camera assembly. I'll be back. All right, so we have the camera separated from the body. The tripod mount is just held in with a bit of double-sided tape, so you have to pry that out of a screwdriver. Now the thumb part. We need to unsolder the autofocus and take this whole lens assembly out where hopefully this should be the right size to fit but we will see I'm going to unsolder that and I'll be back alright so we are back we have removed the old lens or the autofocus lens from the Brio which falls apart well uh, look how tiny the sensor is that is absolutely tiny so now the next step is to hopefully attach these two components together and hopefully they will line up correctly but we shall find out they don't look too far off anyway let's do that I'll be back alright success so we have now got the new mount mounted to the Brio. So, I don't need that one on there anymore. Let's give it a quick blow, make sure there's no dust on it. And just confirm that that does indeed screw on there. Perfect. Right, let's reassemble this and see if it still bloody works. Right, Brio is back together. We have lens attachment thingy, infrared filters in there. It's all back together, all the cables are plugged in, um, but will it work? And also, what I think I will do is I'm going to attempt to drill a hole through here so I can put this nice little pretty cover back on as well. Um, because when I cut it off, I might have it in the lens bit anyway, and it's plastic. So I'm going to attempt that after I test to see if the camera works. Alright, so good news. Um, I've connected it to the telescope and I've plugged in the USB and it works. But the problem is it's sunny back down on Earth and also the moon is not around at the moment because we're just about to enter the new moon phase. Um, so the next video would probably be that connected to this connected to the sky to see if it actually bloody works um, which hopefully it still does and then we can get some 8k 8k 4k footage of the moon with the brio probably be great for getting photos and stacking the photos into a nice sharp image of the moon because it's 8 megapixels is what I meant to say not 8k anyway well I hope you enjoyed the video I will post links for where I got the telescope adapter and the lens adapter from in the description and um, peace out